Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yay! It's Today, a great day. Yes, it is. It's day 87. Yes. <laughs> we had a pretty good night last night. It was cold, got into the 30s, but it's we were okay, actually. Um, actually, my zero down sleeping bag, I slept with <laughs> just my shirt and shorts on and uh, had to unzip the bag at one point during the night. Because you were too, too hot. hot. <laughs> yeah, I looked over and saw her bag was like yeah. fully unzipped and I'm like uh. cuddled up in my 30 degree <laughs> synthetic. I'm like, you stinker. <laughs> but we slept yeah. right there last night on that tent pad um, in the campsite. Being it was dark last night, I'll show you just a little bit. There's a, a fire pit right there. So always good to use to have stones or something to sit on the night before but just a giant area with lots and lots and lots of flat spots. So, and for the most part, not very rocky, <laughs> but yeah. what's, what's the plan today, mom? Oh my gosh. We are beyond blessed by trail angel Chrissy, who is going to pick up my pack to slack pack me, um, in seven miles. Yeah. We have to walk Ridge walk 6.7 miles and then down to the nearest road uh, to meet Chrissy, which you guys have already met before. Yeah. She's, Slack pack her yeah. mom once before um, on the scary descent down to Lehigh Gap. Yeah, so, so it's great. And um, my knees are bothering me. Uh, so it's great to be able to get the pack off a little bit it's each wonderful. day. And we're going to try to do 23 today. So that's to get that's us where? Into Duncannon to another trail angel <laughs> where we can stay the night, do laundry, and shower. Oh my gosh, we're getting spoiled. But yes, we we'll are. Take it. Yes. We very much are getting spoiled by trail angels and just all the help in general online, <laughs> in person. Everybody has been amazing, but it's going to be a lovely day today. It's going to be a titch warmer than yesterday and it's hopefully good. sunny. So yeah. wait, I'm going to put my headlamp away because we use it every morning to help pack up because we pretty much always pack up in no. the complete dark. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah. It's going to be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny, sunshiny day. day. Woo! A lot of you have asked uh, what this little device is on my shoulder that I've been wearing. And what is it, Mom? Oh, it's a Garmin <laughs> InReach Mini. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she is correct. So it is a communication and emergency kind of safety device. So it has an SOS function. So for whatever reason, if we're in trouble and need help and we don't have cell service, I can click that button and help will be on its way immediately. Uh, we also use it every single night to text our immediate family where we're at and that we're safe and everything is okay. So that is a great function. Text my dad, my brother, my aunt, and then a very close family friend every single night. Just extra safety, <laughs> extra precaution. And it also does like customizable texting. So each month we're only allowed 40 texts a month um, customizable. So let's say something comes up, something happens, and I need to communicate with specific details with somebody else um, and text them that way. So we also use it for that. And that is actually how mom is slack packing today. Um, yesterday, we had absolutely no cell service the entire day <laughs> through Pennsylvania, which is the first time. The service has actually been really good, but I used my Garmin device uh, to text a couple trail angels to see if anybody was willing to slack pack for us. And Christy responded right away to my Garmin device, texted this device back and said yes. So we love our Garmin InReach Mini. We use it multiple times every single day. Um, and we, we love it. We would definitely recommend it if you are a backpacker too, or really anything outdoors. <laughs> service back we checked our donation that's the first thing we do every morning and, and night yeah <laughs> and we broke we with you broke the thirty thousand dollar threshold do you know how many puppies that could get oh my goodness oh. <laughs> how many chocolate milks or how many mountain dews or snickers uh, but we, yes. we give those all away to cure Mar parkinson's disease so the dollar amount is thirty thousand eighty dollars and seventy cents yes that's great and if you're just joining us on the video or need a reminder um we are doing this hike the through hike southbound on the appalachian trail to raise awareness and money for research to find a cure for appalachia <laughs> for parkinson's <laughs> disease and um it's because our family was personally affected 
my husband, Greta's dad, or Lilo's dad, um, was diagnosed in 2010. He's at home taking care of our puppy. And Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, he's doing great. Um, he does, his, uh, you may know, Dad's or Ron's joke of the day with his crazy dad jokes. So we are just so thankful. Thank so you, happy. thank you, thank yeah. you. Yes. And uh, <sighs> shares you can do of the YouTube channel or our story if, when we post it on Facebook or Instagram, that's really helpful. People have reached out and um, it's just amazing the support that we are getting. So yes. thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank, thank you. you a million Woo! times. Today is October 9th. So we still have a long way to go and a lot more money to raise to help us to get to our goal of $50,000. Yes. So if you would like to donate or check more out about our story, click the link in the description below. All right, let's go pick up your slack pack, Mom. <laughs> We just met Chrissy, the trail angel. Let's see your new pack, Mom. Well, it's covered, okay, but look how small it is. Gray? It's under there. <laughs> look how teeny. So, Mom's slack packing now for the next 17 and a half miles. Yay. Oh, <laughs> God bless Chrissy. So nice. And before we could even hardly say anything, well, she did come up and meet us on trail, which was awesome. Walked back to the parking lot. Open up the back end, pulled out two folding chairs so we could sit down, and opened, as Angel sang, a bag of snacks, Gatorade, water, just delightful conversation and yummy treats. So amazingness! Thank, Thank you, you, Chrissy. Uh, we met her at the parking lot at PA 325, I believe. So we were ridge walking this morning, came down to meet her at the parking lot of PA 325. We just finished the climb to get back on top of the ridge. And now we are ridge walking pretty much the rest of the day until yes. we have to go down into Dun Cannon. It's so pretty. And it is. Just to give you an idea, my backpack probably weighs 30 pounds, maybe 32 after we've resupplied. This one probably weighs five. Three. Three. Three, maybe. I have a small lovely bottle, small bottle of water that you brought me, um, just enough snacks for lunchtime and an afternoon bar. So Yee! we're set for 17 and a half miles. We love slack packing. We love Chrissy. <laughs> You heard us talk about Rocksylvania, and one of the things that's really scary about the rocks in Pennsylvania is shark fins. So here's an example. I just dug it up out of the ground. You can see where the dirt line was. So sticking up at that angle. And these are shark fins because they're scary and dangerous. And as I see them, I am now singing a little song as I go by them. So here's a couple examples more. There's a little one there on the edge. Bigger one there. Look how narrow it is. Shark fin, shark fin. Not only are they trippy, <laughs> but the little song I sing is, of course, from Jaws. Dun, 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 dun. But that's if it's a big one. That's a big one. If it's a little one, kind of like this, or maybe that one, then it's ding, 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 ding. And sometimes they're in a school, so then it's like a whole bunch of rock fins together. Kind of like this. So we're not, we're gonna put that one down flat. But I don't know why in Rocksylvania, we have pointy rocks that stick straight up, not only to trip you, but to put staples in your head. <laughs> Look at this lady, sprinting up a hill, <sighs> taking advantage of that slack pack. And I can't keep up with her <laughs> when we go up the hills. I'm out of breath, turning those feet. <laughs> but because I have my pack on, it's a little bit harder for me, but she's, Mom's making me work. We are stopped to eat a little bit of lunch. Um, we're about halfway between the slack pack start and end. So eight miles in, I believe we have nine miles left. Mom, do you know how fast the pace is you've been going? No. <laughs> She's been leading us the entire way and she has been averaging since starting her slack pack, 2.8 miles an hour. <laughs> Yeah, you are. If you don't know how fast that is, go outside and just try to walk on a flat sidewalk even. Try to walk 2.8 miles in an hour. That's moving. So 
Superwoman, right there, MVP. Are you ready for another nine miles? Nine? Yeah, nine miles into Dunn Cannon. Okay, fish and keg. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds good. And I don't know if we've said this yet, but we are ending our slack pack where we're meeting Chrissy again. Is that what kind of shop, Mom? Ice cream. <laughs> At an ice cream store. In, in our defense, we didn't pick it, she did. Yes. <laughs> but we're probably definitely gonna get something there, but. Just a little taste. Nine miles left. Let's do this. Woo! Beautiful view. Beautiful farms. Gorgeous Pennsylvania. <laughs> Minus the um, power lines and I can hear them. I don't know if you can hear them kind of snap. <laughs> but still a gorgeous, gorgeous view. Beautiful day. Sun is shining up there. It's about 55 degrees. Beautiful day. Two miles left to the ice cream place, Mom. Really? Is that it? <laughs> what, did, what did you say earlier you, when you took a little stumble? You were going to get a small. And then what'd you say? I think a medium or like, now I'm thinking maybe an extra large might be good. <laughs> you need it. We need it. Oh. <laughs> We're going to cross two bridges and then we'll be at the ice cream place in Dunn Cannon. Yay! <laughs> we are walking across the bridge right now over the uh, Susquehanna River. Look at this. Sunset. <laughs> Perfect day. Perfect ending to the day. So we are crossing the Susquehanna River right now. And then the next bridge is over the Juniata River, which is right there. So this is right where the two join and become the largest Susquehanna River together. So half, well, probably three quarters of a mile to the ice cream store. How excited are you? So excited. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's been a big day. It's been a long day. Yeah. You deserve that extra large ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go get it. That's the mountain we just came off of. <laughs> the two things we love most today. Ice cream and Chrissy. <laughs> Staples are coming out. <laughs> no more staple head. Last one. Last one. For now. What? For now. Look at how beautiful. Yay. Oh, <laughs> thank you. We are at Trail Angel Amanda's house. Um, she is a co-worker of one of the girls that I went to vet school with. So that's how we know her um, here in PA. So um, she actually got to, to take the last five staples out of mom's head. So she Yay. is staple stitch free wow. <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we did how many miles today? Uh, let's see, 24.24. Twenty-four miles point yeah. twenty-four. <laughs> Thanks to slack packing by our trail angel Chrissy. So yeah, um, and we are getting such amazing help here in Pennsylvania. I think it's to counterbalance the creepy rocks, or it's just because Pennsylvanians are amazingly kind. So, and one of the reasons we're asking for help um, and and taking these offers is, um, I did fall a few days ago on a rock and hit my knee and um it's pretty swollen so and colorful very colorful you want to yeah well share? um let's let's show you what it looks like to give you a good idea um uh beware if you don't like gory things or colorful skin <laughs> skip ahead yeah close your eyes <laughs> as a runner i've had kind of um challenged knees for years but on the trail with the mileage that we are doing day after day after day after day um, it's a little bit more challenging. So here 
is um, where I fell on a rock a couple of days ago. And oh, you can see there's quite a bit of bruising all over. Um, and oh. it's most painful right here, like in this quad muscle on the side of the knee. Ugh. And this knee has fallen on a root and been hit by root three mm -hmm. times. So that isn't nearly as bad, but still pretty darn colorful. Yeah, and uh. that is where um, she fell and almost broke her leg um, at Knife's Edge mm -hmm. a few days ago. Yeah, so. you can still feel um, in the muscle the bruising, deep bruising. There's like the, big, the rock really hit right here. Yeah, so, ugh, very colorful. Mm. She does bruise very, very, very easily historically, so this looks much, much worse yeah. um, than it actually is, but hopefully she heals up soon. Yeah. But it, this <laughs> is the one that hurts, but that's the reason why we're getting help yes. with slack packing my pack um, while this heals so I don't have additional stress on my <laughs> joints so we can make it to Georgia. We are going to head to bed now. <laughs> Give mom some time to heal up, yeah. rest. Get to sleep in a little bit in the morning. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. We're not gonna set our alarm until 6.15. Ooh, oh, yeah. big sleep in. So tomorrow's gonna be another big day. We are gonna head, hopefully, from Duncan into Boiling Springs, but yeah. be great. we will see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good night. We'll see you night. guys in the morning. Good morning, <laughs> it's day 88. We're walking through downtown Duncan and just got dropped off by our trail angel, Amanda. And we're walking to the post office to pick up our winter box. <laughs> Yay, we're so excited! Gloves. What else? Long underwear. Yes, uh, our base layers, basically. Yeah. Base layers and gloves. So we are very excited about that. Okay. And then we are meeting another trail angel. Her name is Natalie. Um, she is going to slack pack again for mom all day today. We just got to... We gotta do everything we can to help her legs start to heal up, mm -hmm. uh, her knees. So she's gonna slack pack for mom all day today. And yes. then we're gonna stay at her house tonight, Yay. closer to Boiling Springs. So yes. it's yeah. like a 24 mile hike from Dun Cannon to Boiling Springs. So I don't know if there's enough light yeah. <laughs> in the day. So if you don't make it all the way to Boiling Springs, that's okay. But yeah. every mile that mom gets slack packed helps us. So totally. yes. let's go pick up our, our package. Yay. So, it's Columbus Day, <laughs> and that means the post office is closed. <laughs> we were standing inside from like 8 to 8.10, figuring out why they weren't opening the door. And eventually we knocked, because there's somebody like sorting mail in the back, and they're like, we're closed, it's Columbus Day. So, I don't know, we have to, we'll keep hiking today further south and figure out how we're going to get the package, but... Okay. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Kind of stinks, oh, but well. happy Columbus Day. <laughs> That's okay. Just another hiccup and something we'll have to figure out at a later time. Yeah. But that's okay. We still have to hike a little bit through Dun Cannon, um, do a big climb to get up on the ridge, and then keep hiking today. We're going for about 20 to 21 miles, and it's already getting late. It's late. already about 8:20. So see you later. Have We are just about out of the town of Duncannon, and next we are gonna climb up Hawk Rock, which is right there. And it is about an 800 foot climb, only over the course of about a mile. So not too bad. And then after that, it's pretty much downhill. The rest of the day are flat, couple little climbs, but got one big climb coming up first thing in the morning. Mom, where's your pack? Nothing, literally nothing, nothing today. I got my pole, my helmet, my vest. Your phone, I guess, is what yeah. you're carrying? That's my it. Phone. My whistle. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, must feel good. Oh my gosh. You need it. You deserve it. My, thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> the, uh, I feel quasi guilty, but then I look at my knee and uh, mm, it makes bad. me feel better. I got to <laughs> heal that puppy up. But it looks better this morning, your knee. It's less swollen, not um, as colorful. Yeah. Well, I mean, wait till tonight. That'll be a different story. Yeah. But right now it looks pretty good. I know. Amazing. What a good night's sleep in a glorious bed. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Yes. Thank you for hosting us. Thank you, Natalie, for slack packing mom today and having us tonight. She's thank making you. lasagna tonight. Yay. So we have something to look forward to. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> but are you ready to climb up Hawk Rock? Hawk Rock, here we come. Hawk Rock, just 800 feet. Oh, not, oh, that's nothing. Nothing. We got this. Yay. <laughs> oh, 
climbing up. <laughs> Super steep. <laughs> Doing good, Mom. Once again, Mom is obliterating me. <laughs> she is way up there again. I was leading yesterday and she's gonna lead again today. I just, she's too fast going uphill and I just can't <laughs> keep up with her with my pack on and she is super woman <laughs> for sure. Hurt knee, hurt shoulders, hurt quads, hurt everything. And she is still pushing forward like nothing ever happened. So I got about half a mile left to climbing to get the top of Hawk Rock. Made it to the top of Hawk Rock and the views are spectacular. You can really see the colors starting to come through and the sun is peeking through is. over the ridge. It, it rocks. It rocks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful, gorgeous view looking over the town of Duncannon, which is where we stayed last night. Right, or is it right over there? The town of Duncannon, but just gorgeous. The reds of the trees are really starting to come out. Fall is here. Beautiful, beautiful view. Beautiful day. Beautiful mama, beautiful son. <laughs> you, beautiful wood. <laughs> you rock. Oh. Let's uh, let's keep you it rock. up. We heard I, we have we I, heard we have farmlands coming up later today. So sweating. I am. I'm yeah. dripping sweat. I yeah. you made me work up there. Oh I'm glistening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got an easy day. Slack pack, nothing. Greta's got a big old pack. <laughs> Making me work. It's, it, it builds character. Yeah, so let's okay. keep hiking okay. towards those farmlands. Yay. <laughs> Beautiful day today. <laughs> Had yummy lunch at the top of the ridge at Darlington Shelter. Now we're you're such a darling. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and um, because I'm being slack packed, I didn't have my my food bag, so I got to eat Greta's lunch. Eat all my food. Um, I like mine better. <laughs> um, and now we're going down, down and, off of the ridge. Yes, and to the then, valley. And then we're gonna have flat. Flat. But we have no clue what the terrain is like. And right now it's pretty rocky still. So we'll see if it's still super rocky. That majorly slows us down. If it's flat farmlands, then we'll be able to just boom. <laughs> so we'll see. We have anywhere from like eight to 13 miles left today, depending on the terrain. But we are making our way closer and closer to Boiling Springs. Boiling Springs. <laughs> Echo. <laughs> Look at how pretty. And this is different. It's flat and it's like level. Flat. And no rocks. And right next to a creek over there. It's uh, so easy. Yeah, it's so pretty. Greta, guess what? What? We've hiked over a thousand miles on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> we have been waiting for this moment for how many days? A thousand miles, 88 days. <laughs> Look at this beautiful flat land, perfect farmland. Oh my cows, gosh. Cows. Beautiful. There's cows over there. Mom wants to show you the cows. They're right, I don't know if you can see them. They're little black ones in there, but. Angus. <laughs> perfect. I feel like we could just fly down this. No more rocks. It's yeah, and it's so gentle. I, I'm carrying my helmet and my walking, <laughs> or my trekking pole. Uh, give your head a break. Give my head a break, yeah, and it's so warm out, so. It's hot. Yeah, it's great. But, but we know we're not gonna have this weather for much longer, so we are enjoying it. Look at the beautiful clouds. Beautiful day. We have about anywhere from four to like nine miles left. Depending on the daylight left, it's about four o'clock now, so we'll see how much farther we go, but. 
we are just gonna enjoy this enjoy the flat and we will see you guys back once we meet Natalie but oh, so amazing it's beautiful stunning really nice. Slag pack all day was glorious. We did 24 miles again, right? 23.9 miles. Oh crap. Yeah. So we're back at <laughs> Natalie's house right now. Yes. Adam and John, our girl angels, amazing, amazing dinner. Lasagna with spinach. Like vegan <gasps> vegetarian, vegetarian lasagna. lasagna. It was so good. So good. And <sighs> green beans and broccoli. Sauteed in butter. Oh my gosh, real <laughs> fresh vegetables. It's amazing. So good. I had a oh. hard cider. Mom had a beer. Dessert. Oh my gosh, dessert too. Homemade double chocolate cake, um, also apple cake, and then vanilla bean ice cream. So good. It's healthy. So amazing. Yeah, it was great. The shower was really nice hot water, so we are ready for bed. And yeah. it's great. But also they had like, Stuff that hikers need, and Greta, what yeah. did you need? So, um, what I scored here is a new toothbrush. I've been using the very same toothbrush since we started, so almost three months. And then I picked up a brand new toothbrush. So, let me know if you can tell which one is the old one and which one is the brand new one. So, these are the two toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. Can I wonder if you can tell which one I've been using mm -hmm. for months, and that is like all splayed out. You know how your toothbrush gets like that. Yeah. So, I got a new toothbrush. Yeah. It's amazing. Tooth, little miniature toothpaste. <laughs> little it's thing of toothpaste. So great. It's great. But um, yeah. we're going to head to bed now. Um, I want to show you the bathroom, though. It's very cute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to, um, we already had dinner. So. Yes. We're gonna get to bed. It's still early. It's like 9 15 or something. So we're gonna Ooh, get some good sleep. That's past hiker midnight. Oh, yeah, it's too late for yeah. us. But, <laughs> all right. Good. Okay. Good night. night. I wanna go show you the bathroom though, real quick. <laughs> so cute and it's very nice. This is the bathroom. Very, very nice shower. Cute little decor. Um, and then this is um, the area for all the things they have for hikers. So the toothbrushes there, they have even like muscle rub and foot balm, <laughs> combs, extra towels. They have icy hot and everything. So extra toothbrushes that you need while you're here. Just really nice people. So we're very thankful. We've been so spoiled <laughs> with amazing, amazing trail angels and help on the trail. But <laughs> We're exhausted, our feet hurt, our joints hurt. But we smell good. Yes, and Mob's legs are less colorful today than they were last night, which yeah. is a good thing. And um, Natalie had a really cool ice pack that I had velcroed to my knee, so <laughs> it's great. Yes, yeah, so we're tired. Um, we're probably gonna do another big day tomorrow around 20 miles or so. Yeah, it's great. Get some good rest tonight. Good night. Hi, Ron here. Um, wanted to give an update on the Appalachian Trail progress of Susan and Greta. Uh, they're about halfway. They're making a lot of uh, good time and mileage, so they're catching up, and I think even better than they were a week ago to the schedule. So their schedule is still to be home by Christmas, and, and they're on their way. Um, they're getting kind of what I call a second wind and a boost because they're about halfway, and when they cross that this week, you know, that will give them the final boost going into the finish. And uh, anything you can do to support them, it would be a really, really big help for them. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in the Twin Cities. Um, I mentioned our dog before, Eve, and she loves Greta and Susan dearly, and uh, she's waiting for them. And she'll be she'll be here when they get done, and they'll be happy, and she'll be happy. Uh, we, we went outside today and tossed the tennis ball around. She really loves that. She's a fun dog. I uh, know for my joke of the day, uh, what has ears but can't hear? A cornfield so hopefully you like that one have a great day it's a it's a great day here in the Twin Cities and I hope you're doing well and thanks for all of your support bye <laughs>